Sorry, people, we're live, late, technical issues, technology, America, need to get the technological stuff together. This has been, this has been a, a, a crazy ass week. I mean, for everything from hearing about when we get ready to talk about taxes to 45 getting the virus. Uh, did you see just now that he parading around the streets of of of, of, of DC outside uh, of uh, the hospital? Yeah, I, 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 I saw that. I'm like, I'm like, I know, I know if your Secret Service, you can't refuse an order, but who? I would have been like, bruh. I told him to kiss my ass. You know? Like, bruh. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, you know, we, <laughs> we, we, you know, we ain't doing this shit. You know? You're, one of the damn things you're already doing. infected. Now you want to possibly infect us, uh, us and our secu security detachment, let alone the, the, let alone the public, you know. They need, they need to put some, he need to resign. He don't need, then even like um, Scaramucci said earlier today, he said he needs to resign. Oh, Mooch said that? Oh yes, yeah. Scaramucci said he needs to fucking resign his position. Um, he, he said, he's just, he's just not, fit for the office and he's just he's he's a, he's a, he's, a, he's more than a security risk now he's a health risk mm -hmm. i mean you know so it's been it's been one of those things that all at risk because of his ass and then all his whole cabinet have been hit and affected with this thing right i mean what do we have to have short of a zombie um, apocalypse? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't get it. Okay, people, we are here to talk about taxes, taxes. One of the biggest things some people are coming up in the last month of this year for taxes on extensions. And people are up in arms. When 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 it came out, when he, they said that he paid, what was it, 2016, 2017, $750, which is like $1,500 over two years, last, you know, about four years ago. Right. Over the last 10 to 15 years, that's all he's paid. And everybody was up in arms. But people, y'all fail to understand which I should be up in arms with, and I'm not, this is not a support or to say to get him off the hook. People got to understand the tax code is set up, the Federal Reserve, the Treasury, all those type of things were set up for the rich. I've been trying to get people to read a book called Unfair Advantage or The Creature from Jaco Island, okay? There's a book that talks about that. You can go on the tax code and, and see all the write-offs. You know, they were getting on, you know, there was a news article talking about why, how is, is it, was it legal for Trump to hire his daughter as a consultant and write it off? And I said, yeah. If he hired her as a consultant for his businesses, you, you, remember we did a thing on that once before with that, um, Yes, we did. And we, and what it is, you can hire your kids. You start a business, you can hire your kids and pay them a, a stipend, a salary, and write it off as an expense. Yes, you can. But the, the thing you got, people got to understand, this is, the art, this is what I think people don't understand and want, want to know, or what they want to know. You got to start a business to get write-offs like with the wealthy. The wealthy run in three segments. They run in business ownership, they run in investments, okay? It was two things. Business ownership and investments, okay? That's, those are the three things they run in. And 
in, in other stuff they do is always investing in commodities. The biggest problem the working class and the Democrats keep talking about, and I'm saying the Democrats because the Democrats don't say shit about this stuff. You guys are, 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 are have an argument about because you pay the highest taxes, he, you, a, a school teacher pays more tax than, than Donald Trump. That's because Donald Trump is an, a real estate investor or whatever, whatever they call his title. There are loopholes. There are advantages that the tax laws give investors and business owners that a teacher don't get. A teacher is a W-2 or the 1099 R when she retires. Mm -hmm. That's why she pays more in taxes. Get mad at Congress, get mad at your 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 uh, politicians about this stuff. That's who you get mad at. I would take you as a worker bee, you, me, or us, we can take advantage of the, the, the tax laws based off, and you gotta work your business. Now, the biggest problem that Trump has gotten in trouble is because he's inflated his income, he's inflated and lied about losses and stuff. You gotta tell right. the truth, people. <laughs> and then you gotta, you gotta be able to show these losses and stuff. That's what people get in trouble. There's nothing wrong with taking advantage of them. Is it that people get in trouble because they don't um, know the laws and how to take advantage of them? But then you want to bitch about what everybody else do, and then you just say, "Well, he he didn't pay his fair share. He paid what's required based off of whatever he did in his business, whatever losses, whatever all that stuff is." See, you ain't get educated. People don't want to get educated to make a case about nothing. All they want to do, and bad to say it, bro, black folks are the re most reactionary in that aspect. Want to say, well, he didn't. Understand the law, understand the game, okay? The game is not how much you make, how much you keep, okay? Right. Now, we don't know, nobody knows how much, I mean, what that 421 million debt, who he owes it to, nobody knows. They say it's through. They say it's through the IRS, but I think it's more than that. We don't know. He's in trouble that way because of what he's 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 lied about, like every damn thing else. <laughs> the damn income and losses or whatever. That's why. That's why you get in trouble, people. It ain't about him not paying fair share. His problem is he lies about a lot of stuff. What's your thoughts about this, Ken? I mean, you know, I don't know if you all, if you know that much about the tax code or looked in the tax code. I've been, I've been doing, doing my, own, and, 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 and with this, uh, with the said, the caveat is I'm by no means any tax expert, but I am, but I, I've done my taxes ever since I was 19. So there are there are some just there, there are some basics that that you that you have to have when you're just when you're just working working your working your job and as opposed to when you have when you have you when you have started uh, started your business whether it be a traditional business or or an on, online business as of course you you and I and thousands of other folks did and you cover you cover it every bit. One, you you've got to you've got to report your in, you got to report your income. Right. Two, especially if you have a business, you've got to report you got to report your losses. Right. You uh, got to report the losses. You got to and you got to have documentation not, that, exactly that backs up the stuff that you report. Now, exactly. Prove this shit. That's when you start getting. This is where people, I guess, like what happened with Wesley Snipes. Everybody was arguing about 
But Wesley Snipes went to jail and done. But Wesley Snipes could not prove or back up whatever losses and stuff that he did and reported. Exactly. Well, yeah, they're gonna throw his ass in jail. Ain't got nothing to do with being black. People, stop using the black. We know there's a lot of things that I agree with that that, that black people suffer from. But goddamn, mm. if you fuck up and don't know how to cover your ass with the shit that you put out there to show, they gonna take your ass in jail. Yep, or, or at okay. least at least you're gonna pay a, pay a good fine and or, or fine. You got to you you know you the the, the game is you, you you it's a game, and you're gonna have to learn to play the game the way the rich play it. But you're gonna right. have to understand. You're gonna have to back up your shit. Now, true, Wesley paid his fine, but they said, "Well, that's all. That's all great. But if you had this money all this time, you could have paid it." And he went to jail anyway. Well, he went to jail, but he probably went to jail because he didn't, a lot of different things, mm -hmm. okay? And that's when you 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 don't, it, you know, it's a game. It's just like, I, I'm arguing with more and more about people about this political game, too. Got on this thing yesterday, and I sit, and, and they just, somebody just mentioned the thing, the, the, the election, especially the presidential election. Got in discussion with my mom about this. I said, I keep things very, I try to get, keep things very simple, very elementary. If we vote, we do not as constituents vote directly to the candidate, okay? There ain't no argument. If we don't, if, look, the, we vote for electorals, okay? Right. We don't know who the fuck the electorals are as people, okay? We go to a poll, we see all these debates, we see all these candidates parade all over the place, and then we're supposed to, we, we're supposed to be voting for it, but yet you're going to tell me, well, I'm voting not directly towards the, the candidate, but I'm voting for electorals? Well, how, how fucked up is that? Okay. So the argument stands to me is why there are people who argue with you saying, well, how does our vote count? Now, let's go even further. The electorals, whoever they may be in each state, get together and they meet somewhere and make a vote on December 14th. That's over a month after the election. That's the electoral college. Right. So in truth... This is my this is my argument to all this. In truth, if this is the case, then we are being bamboozled when it comes to electoral college. Why is there such a big uproar in the thing of voter suppression if we don't directly vote for the candidate anyway? I mean, think about it simple. Let's keep it elementary. Simple. If that's like saying I want. You get, I said, I order a Coke, but you give me Sprite, and I'm supposed to be happy with that. Especially when I don't even know I'm getting Sprite. I mean, getting Pepsi. You know what I mean? That That's how that seems like everybody's taking this shit. You, once you understand, go and, and look at this thing from, from a elementary, keep it simple. Why would we sit up there and put up with that shit? We, we are, we are, isn't it, we are a country or people that, that just put up with shit for the simple fact if we if we gotta say a shit then we need to say some shit it doesn't make sense for us to keep voting the way we do and then keep sprouting off to our kids we as adults well I don't have any kids but you know what I mean adults they have kids and all this stuff and these teachers y'all need to stop this shit and quit spreading the bullshit that black people ancestors died for the right to vote. That is bull fucking shit. No, they didn't. They didn't have the right to vote in the first fucking place. They weren't getting the right to vote. What they were dying for is freedom. They don't fuck up on no damn vote. Okay, people, we spread more shit. If we sit down and look at the total of everything, about slavery, about how this country was developed, we will find out it ain't just about that. 
and we don't we don't sit there and and really critically challenge what's going on. This voting thing is really a pain in this this presidential voting. I should say. Let me clarify. When I'm talking about voting, I'm talking about the presidential vote is a farce. If we only vote for electorals that we do not know nothing about, and it's almost like the face of the presidency is control is controlled by somebody else. The candidates are controlled by somebody else. And it's just like I keep talking about, we're talking about taxes. The game of taxes is understanding it and playing the game to your advantage. Just a game, people. Everybody wants to argue the fact that, well, this is, it's a fucking game. And my only conclusion to the, the, the spouting off about voter suppression is either the people on TV, the media and shit don't know, or they part of the fucking problem. <clears throat> Plain and simple. You either know what's going on or you part of the problem when you cover it up. Ain't no, there's no gray area about that. I mean, what's your thoughts on that? You know, I I know that I, I've 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 always said when I when I found it out in in civics, in high school civics, that we did not necessarily vote for the president, the uh, him himself. We voted for for the uh, for the electors, and of course, the uh, the electors are from. Or whatever state, how big, how small, yeah. what, what, what have you? And I'm, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Then I'm like, well, if that's the, if that's the case, we are supposed to entrust those electors when they, when, when they, when they officially vote for the president on on the fifteenth to carry out. What what we have what we have voted for in the per, in the first place, or what president we have voted for in the first place, and I'm like that that's something that needs to that, that needs doesn't make to sense. Happen. It doesn't make sense, and 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 what what makes me you know and even like when I we I know we kind of we kind of getting on different subjects, but is this is all tied into what where we live in in a country as far as what's really going on. Um, we got to get more educated. See, the biggest problem with our country today is that we we educated to be compliant. Mm -hmm. We have really let's be let's I'm gonna cut this shit. We've been educated to be worker bees. Basically. Yeah, we've been educated to not question authority, and that's mm -hmm. what always got me in trouble because I've always questioned authority. Just because you know, I, I've gotten even to a point now. Just because you elderly don't mean you earn you automatically earn respect from somebody. Cause there's some there's some old fuck ups. Case in point, that motherfucker that's in the White House. Okay. See, we I'm tired of people trying to tell me cause somebody's elderly I'm supposed to respect them. What fucking law says that? <clears throat> respect goes two ways, motherfucker. Really, it goes both ways. And if you're not gonna show me that shit because you elderly don't make you wise because there's a lot of people there's a lot of younger ones that are wise sure. see we we need to get i get we need to get off of all this stuff that we spread out to people and tell them thinking that it's truth and it ain't truth what's truth is you respect people for who they are not because they've been on earth long enough time because there's a lot of people been on, on on earth for a while ain't ain't done shit they just take up air <laughs> All right, that may it's really true. that shit. They just take up air. That's true. You know, all they doing is growing hair. Some of them ain't doing that. I mean, it's just it's crazy. And it's like when you got when you look at these tax laws and stuff and stuff. You, we now there is no excuse for people. I don't, you know, I don't, I I don't understand why a black community now was even more than ever can't band together and create a virtual business there's no need you don't need to go to a bank for a loan mm -hmm. people keep talking about small business fuck small business small business don't need to be mom and pop store in the corner small business all it needs to connect with a uh, 
a, a, a warehouse or a distribution and it's been run through this way. You can run business. We're running businesses virtually now. Information today in the 21st century, the, 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 commodity, the commodity is information. This is what we're sharing out to you tonight because a lot of y'all getting are, are upset because of, like I said, Trump not paying his fair share. Everybody keep talking about their fair share. That's one reason why I wouldn't have voted for Elizabeth Warren because she talking about, well, they should, they got to pay. Elizabeth Warren, as long as y'all been in, 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 in the Congress and politics, don't y'all fucking know that y'all don't control shit in the Congress? <clears throat> it's the Federal Reserve, it's the Treasury, and all those motherfuckers are the ones that lobby against what's going on and what's, going, what's happening. Until you guys either grow enough huevos and, 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 and change the tax code to make it evil level, which I know that's not going to happen because the powers that be is not, are not going to do, let that happen. This is why I'm being honest. This is why some people get either pushed out of office or they get assassinated because of those kind of things that have been around. We, we've been, the tax code has been advantage to the wealthy for over a hundred years. Federal Reserve. Okay. 1910. The meeting in Jaco Island was set up in 1908 to set this shit up. It took two and a half, about two and a half years for them to set this all up to vanish. The, re the reason why Gaddafi was shot or killed, I'm gonna say I don't know how he was killed, was because he didn't want to. He didn't. He was going against the U.S. monetary Federal Reserve system. I, you know, I don't know if Obama knew this or not. He may not have. See, y'all, we, we say a lot of things about who has power and who doesn't have power. And sometimes I think power is subjective. And even in the presidency, because oh, yes. oh, yes. it's based off of who you're connected with or who you're not connected with. Mm -mm. Okay? They didn't give no respect to Obama because he really wasn't part of the power brokers of Washington. Even though he was a senator, he come out of Chicago. He was a black man, even though he was a mulatto, okay, which means his mom is white and his dad was black. Um, all those kind of variables play a, a important role in what's going on, and people act like they don't understand that and don't understand the game. Now. We got this, what's going on today with all this stuff to me is it's all based back from 2008 because we had a two-term black man in the White House. <clears throat> there are certain white folks in our system. See, everybody kept saying, oh, we live in a free home, the brave and all that. No, there are certain white folks in our system they're upset that a black man took over the White House. Okay? Plain and simple. Now, they elected Donald, they might as well elected Donald Duck because that's basically what they got. <laughs> and he's just been a, a total fuck up. Okay? He's just been a total fuck up. We got 200 and some odd thousand people have died of this virus. And when, when they have no plans to try to curtail it or whatever, he's fucking infected. You got half his fucking staff or followers in the Republican. And you notice that it's mostly majority. It's, it's, it's kind of ironic how things change. They were talking about how, you know, okay, this this disproportionately supposed to affect brown and black people, right? Mm -hmm. Not because black and brown people were doing something stupid, granted, there probably are some, but because of the jobs that they had to work and they weren't getting enough PPEs. But these dumb son of a bunch gringos, that meeting they had a couple of weeks ago in the Rose Garden, all yes. them nasty motherfuckers spreading that damn germs around each other, shaking hands, talking and shit. Now, what did they say? Six to 10 people have come up infected? I believe that, the is eight. The count is eight now. Okay. All of them mostly white. Republican. Mm -hmm. um, 
<laughs> I mean, come on. Yeah. Yep. I mean, how stupid can you be? So the hoax is on a hoax on you. All these people, what was it like? Six? How many senators? At least three. Three, yeah, I saw. But there was like six to eight people they showed across that was at that 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 nomination. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And they're all infected. And 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 one one of the things people gonna have to understand that I read that this virus doesn't not there's six or there's six strains of this virus, and they all inf they all affect people differently because mm -hmm. this virus has mutated. They say, but right. as I said, I got different things about that. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with the TV in there? My mother, hold on for a minute. Okay, a little, a little break in the action there. Yeah, uh, yeah, we were we were talking uh, talking about coronavirus, but yeah, it, but we still we're talking about uh, talking about the taxes, guys. Um, if you, I, I would just say I would just say this, and 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 most of you who own who own a bit who own a business, uh, either either a traditional business or 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 online that online business you know this you know you 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 have to keep keep accurate accounts of your whether it be on quickbooks or or if some of y'all are old school still doing i i i i don't i hope that's not the case but if you are keep keeping accurate accurate records of, of receipts and, and all so if if you should ever get audited by the IRS, you will have, you will have those, you will have those records either on Quick, QuickBooks or, or just old files of yours that, that, hey, these are my documents. Here's what it is. You can look at it. There, there you go. So if you should happen to get audited, you'll have, you'll have that information to, to, to back up back up whatever profits you make or whatever yeah, now, whatever losses that you have yeah came up came up look at split okay okay people sorry for the, all this technical mess but it's just been one of them nights okay what we were talking about this is coming out of um robert kiyosaki's cash flow quadrant um rich dad poor dad whatever and it says that there's four quadrants as most people work in we're going to e to s to b and i the E is as an employee. Most of y'all who get paid through your taxes, we're talking about taxes, your W-2, this is how you get paid. There's no leverage in your job. You can't will your job to nobody. You stop working, you don't get paid. You go to home after your job, you stop getting paid. This weekend, you stop getting paid. Even if you're on salary, you're not getting paid anymore. And some of y'all work even more and you start getting paid anymore. So there's no leverage there. Your mom and pop stores are the self-employed people, restaurants, bars, all those type of things. But at the time, I would say self-employed people can have leverage because of social media and the internet. Okay. That will allow them to have leverage. But all in all, back in the day, there was no leverage because, like I said, there was no internet, there was no social media. So because you own the job starts with you. You own the job, okay? <clears throat> you know, everybody said they want to be self-employed, but being a self-employed, there's a difference between a self-employed and being over here where you own a business, business owner, okay? Business owner system, business ownership is usually because you either own or you bought or you created a system or you have people that work for you. So there's leverage in that. What we do, me and Kent, we bought into a system and we leverage the system to help us make money while we sleep. That's the difference between this side of the quadrant and this side of the quadrant, self-employed and, and the business ownership, okay? Now, as an investors, this 
is where a lot of the big money comes from. But you got to be educated in, in investments and you got to have a certain amount of money. This is where the wealthy work from. They work from this side of the quadrant, not this side of the quadrant, because they lose money because it's taxed the highest. Okay, when we talk about people like Donald Trump, uh, Robert Kiyosaki, uh, Mark Cuban, who else? Warren All them Buffett. guys, they work from this side of the quadrant. Warren Buffett. Buffett, Buffett, Warren Buffett. All them guys work from this side of the quadrant. They either are investors or they are a combination of business owners and investors. This is how you save money. Amazon works on this side of the quadrant, people. That's why they're able to not have to pay taxes like a lot of y'all are bitching about because this is where they work on the quadrant, this side of the quadrant. This is where they work from. They don't have, they don't work from, there's no advantage for them from the tax law to work because they get taxed to hire it over here, not over here, folks. Okay, this is where you got to really understand what's happening in the game of money. There's no sense in bitching about these people because they're doing this legally. They play the game of the taxes based off where they're at on the quadrant. If you want to save money and in, 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 in getting some form of doing what they do. You need to start a business. And right, you know, today, and we've been saying this, and we've been saying this for last eight months, mm -hmm. and we have we have resources to show you, if you want to save money your taxes on that, you got to start a business, people. If anything, for the tax reasons that we just showed you here. Okay, let me go on. The tax reasons. If anything that you need is for the tax reasons, ain't for anything else. So you got to understand that to get advantage of the tax code, you got to have a business. You either got to be an investor or you got to have a business. And most of rich people are on both those sides, the B and the I, that right side of the quadrant, not the left side. The left side will fuck you. Okay? So this that's an old diagram. You read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Cash Flow Quadrant, um, all those type of things. They tell you if you want to play the game of the wealthy, even, even let's put it this way, the game of the wealthy, you have to play the game of the wealthy, even if you want to just match your own income in your job. Mm -hmm. You have to play the game of the wealthy. Other than that, there ain't no use in bitching and complaining about them making money because that's the game of the wealthy, folks. There's no need in bitching. You can't, you, it's like you talk about people who don't go out and vote like I just told you about voting. If you don't understand the game and then you bitch about it and don't do nothing about it, it don't make no sense. Mm -hmm. It makes no damn sense to sit up there and say, well, the wealthy are doing this and this and that and that and that. Hey, tax code. I would, yeah, I would, I would take care. I take advantage of stuff when I can. Why not? The game is, is not so much how much you make, it's how much you get to keep. And then reinvest that money into other things. Then you plan in the game of investors. Business owner investor. You take that money and reinvest it into whatever, your business or some kind of commodity, some kind of whatever. That's how the rich stay rich, folks. That's, that's basically the game. Okay, We can't sit up here, black folks, white folks, poor white folks. You got to get out of the W-2 side. That left side of the quadrant ain't serving you no justice. They're not going to change the DAX code no time soon if they ever do. Nah, I don't see that happening. I don't see that happening. Federal Reserve, go read The Creature from Jacob Island. I'm, that's all I can say. It's no, that, that's, that's hitting the ball shit. That's why now, like I said, People get screwed up because they, they can't back up their claims on their taxes. Like Trump, why he owed $428 million, $421 million of IRS or whoever. Mm. That's on him. There's plenty of people know the tax code. They just fucked up about keeping records. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, that's the serious thing. They just screwed up on how to keep records and stuff, and they don't know how to uh, 
do that. Um, you know, just like now we're in the fourth quarter of the year, 2020, you better get your taxes and stuff together. That's why we tell people start a, or as they say, start a side hustle. That's how you take advantage. And you just look, there was a diet, there was a thing online talking about start a, what most, there's a percentage of y'all use your laptops to look at Netflix and YouTube videos. And you do the same thing with this, but you won't use your laptop or your cell phone to start a business and, and, and make some money. And there was a back, I think about 10 years ago, 21 year old dude, that's all he had was a cell phone. Became a millionaire using his cell phone. Okay. Information is the name of the game. Transferring valuable information to the right people, to the market. When you feed the market what it needs, it'll pay you back. That's, that's all sales and marketing it is. That's all really network marketing is. We talked about that last week too. You got to learn to network and market to the right audience. See, your whole, your whole two things in business is to build an audience. That's in any business. They don't give a shit what it is. If you have the right audience and you market to the right, you network and market to the right people that need your services, then your services solve a problem. They'll pay you for it. I'm just trying to keep it simple, okay? It's just like you guys know I talk a lot of shit to some of these women. They buy it because you play that game with them. It ain't no different. That's no different than doing the same thing when it comes to business, folks. I'm just being keeping it real. I keep it raw and real. So the simple fact, that's what it needs to be done. And yes, what you need to understand. It ain't, you know... There's a lot of people say, well, everybody can't be in business. No, everybody won't. Ain't everybody can't because of tools and services and stuff. Education is fucking out there. I don't want to hear this bullshit excuse that everybody can't. That's bullshit. Everybody can. It's just everybody won't. I had a friend that said that shit about well, everybody wants. No. Everybody won't. Okay? There's stuff out here that help you lose weight. Everybody can do this shit. But everybody won't. Everybody won't. Yep. Everybody knows what he needs to do to to lose weight, gain muscle, or whatever. Everybody know it, but everybody won't make the implementation and they won't put in the motion to do it. It ain't gonna happen by osmosis. Ain't nobody gonna come down <laughs> and save your ass to do it. You, you the one that's gotta do it. Not not me. Not can't we can lead you to the water, but if you don't drink, that's your fault. Okay, there's too many of y'all out here want somebody to hold your hand about everything. You can only hold somebody's hand to a point. After a while, it's gonna be up to you to make that move and do what it needs to do. That means understanding, make some changes this year. But it's not too late to do the tax thing. Okay, you you still got time to do that right now if you start a slide hustle. Yes, sir. Right yes, now. Sir. We got three months left, technically two months left in, in, in 2020. Fourth quarter. Fourth, fourth quarter. quarter. In the fourth quarter of the year, and you can side, side hustle, write that shit off, and it will save you money. Now, just think mm -hmm. if you started that same side hustle and, and continue into 2021, keep some records, you can do the same thing. I just showed you why you are paying more taxes through that cash flow quadrant diagram. Okay, I just showed you. Yeah, there's nothing else you can need to know. I mean, the information is out there, folks, that people don't, and that's why we do, I do this for this uh, Sunset Sundays, information, people, information is power. But what's more powerful is information implemented. That's real powerful, okay? Information is powerful. But implemented information is real powerful, folks. Because you can have all the information in the world, but if you don't take the time to implement it, you ain't got no excuse. You can't. You can't blame the rich. You know that's why this is divide. I think sometimes with, but then you got Democrats who are fil filthy rich too. So, are they yeah. telling you how to do this shit? Democrats ain't doing it. Republicans really, you know, they ain't gonna tell you shit. Okay. <laughs> 
they ain't gonna tell you a mama and they're not gonna tell you nothing. So we know they're not gonna do it. Okay. So the thing is, you don't need somebody always to try to hold your hand. The information, hey, we giving you the information. They tell you, they need, we had to learn it. Nobody came to us in school. I wish I learned it 10, 15 years ago. I wish I had it 20 years ago. No, what they want to tell you, go to college, get a good job and retire. All that shit is bullshit because now people are struggling. People were yeah. struggling to retire before all this pandemic happened. People mm -hmm. were struggling when they were working. The working week, they were going to job doing so-called the right thing. And now this shit happened and people getting kicked in their gonads because of this damn thing. Because the nigga in the White House didn't do his job. You heard me right. The white nigga in the White House didn't do his fucking job. Okay? Y'all can get mad if all y'all want about that shit. I don't care. But that's what, I, that's what happened. Okay, y'all was always calling President Obama a nigga. No, you truly got one in the White House now. And that some bitch got the COVID, got in his ass. <laughs> oh. Orange cat. Yeah, he made an appearance. He's making he an appearance. appearance today. I don't know where Sneakers is. <laughs> He's around here. He's been a pain in the ass all day. <laughs> huh? Yeah, this one, this was just, this, this band was just, just waking up. So that's why he all calm. He'll yeah. Down soon. He probably going to be the same way <laughs> running around here today. I got, I got a doctor's appointment tomorrow, physical, dearly physical tomorrow. So, but, um. That's that's what it is, people. Yeah, we it, it, I'm not you know me. No, where well, you know, yeah, you know me. I'm gonna I'm tell you straight, no BS, no sugar coat. Okay, it keeping it fucking real. I used to have a website called Straight Talk with Greg Smith. I used to have a thing called Straight Talk. I might get that, I might get that, try to get that domain back. And I, I, I meant to ask you what happened with that. Well, I let it go and I started doing some other things. Mm -hmm. Um, it was too long of a domain, really. Oh, okay, I got you. Name. Um, so I might do. I, I'm thinking about starting a podcast, maybe the first of the year. Okay. Mm -hmm. So sometime, sometime in 2021, since I may start a podcast, I don't know yet. I don't know. I mean, I did. We, me and Drew, did used to do those back in way back in, eight years ago, 2012. We were doing podcasts. Uh yeah, I did because I, I, I no, I wasn't. On, I, I, I checked one of them out. Yeah, I yeah, I was doing it over his house because he had all the equipment then. Um, now, but you know, I always, I always watch the market and say, okay, probably should have kept on doing, but now everybody's out there doing. Everybody in the podcast mama. now. <laughs> um, I don't know if I want to. Sometimes I don't know if I want to jump on. Well, if I do it, I could do it my way. Talk about what I want to talk about, what I, what the educate the people, what we need. Sometimes when we were doing it, it, it was sounding like, I don't know. It sounded like, the, you ever watch this? Well, you probably don't have Showtime. Desus and Merle, you ever heard of them? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, I, 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 um, I have a free preview this weekend, so. I, what, I, time? I, I caught I caught one of their shows, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just watched a movie with Merle in it. It was called Vampire in the Bronx. Zoe Saldana was in it. I just watched it the other night. It was on Epics. We got a free free weekend of Epics. Okay. And okay. He was on there. Um, <laughs> it, it was kind of a comedy, but it was serious. Okay. These guys were real estate developers. They were vampires, and, 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 and all the vampires were white. <laughs> oh, no. I'm serious. It's a crazy. All the vampires were white folks. Mm -hmm. And then you know they were in a part of the Bronx with with um, blacks and Latinos. Mostly the area was Dominican. Okay. It it was crazy, <laughs> but I don't know. It's um, we we in some trying times, man. I don't know why we being so tested about. 
I hate taking tests. I, t- I was telling my mom, I-, I never was good at tests. Never was. And as then she said, well, then she said, well, I'm sorry that I, I said, mom, it ain't your fault that I wasn't good at tests. I did this. I thought tests were biased. And it, you was the problem. It was me. I just spoke up and said, this is bullshit. <laughs> I just, all, it wasn't about what you, what I didn't learn or whatever. It's just bullshit. The tests that they want to give people are, are, are crap. And, you know, you can answer tests the, the too many damn ways. It's because, as I go back to what I said, I'm not part of the compliance system. Okay? I broke off the matrix. That's basically what we're doing. If you watch the matrix, you'll know, understand what I'm talking about. You know they're coming out. I don't know if they're through. They're coming out with matrix four. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, they were filming. They had to stop. They had to stop because of the pandemic. But Larry Lawrence Fishburne's not in it. I heard. He, I I, I could understand him not wanting. To, but this, he's. I thought I read something said he wasn't asked to be in it. Oh oh. Okay. I don't know. Okay. I don't know what to say about that. Mm-hmm. You know, I I just kind of like without Morpheus. Yeah, this you know. Um. Even as a cameo. They said he wasn't in it. I don't even know about no cameo. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm saying. Eh? I'm like, not even for a cameo? No, no. Not even for a cameo. So I don't know. It's a crazy situation. So I'm not sure if they if they're, if they're had... if I think they might have resumed shooting it. But, you know, okay. with a lot of the stuff they had to stop. Because it's pandemic. I, hey, don't be surprised if basketball season is different next year. Oh yeah, no doubt. The way they, th- you know, we may basketball season ended in June may not be the case no more. Uh, you know, yeah. the, fi- the finals like we used mm-hmm. to in June, that mm-hmm. may not be the case no more. I just remember back in um after nine eleven. 9-11 changed everything, you know, TV, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and, you know, yeah. and we not, and we, see, 9-11 was just a case that happened that one day, but it didn't shut, it, it didn't shut down shut the down. U.S. Yeah. in the way it did this, this thing's doing. Right, exactly. And it's killing people every day. That killed just a few people that day. Mm-hmm. This thing is continuously knocking off folks. And it doesn't oh, seem like it's, huh? It, and it, and and from where it stands now, there's no immediate end in, in sight on this thing either. No, there's no immediate end. There's no so-called vaccine, as this fool in the White House wants to say. Mm-hmm. You know, all the vaccines are in clinical trials. Some of them going to have to probably start over. Yep. Because you know. I heard some people, they did take some of them things and there were some side effects. Um, they just, they just fucked up. That's all they did. Come on, let's just be See, governments all want to try to play the role that they so perfect. No, y'all fucked up. Okay? Mm-hmm. Somebody fucked up. I don't believe that it was a zoonosis thing that they claim that caused this thing on that. I just don't believe it. Mm-hmm. You can call me conspiracy theorists, all that stuff. It just don't sound right. No, no, I don't know. I, I, I got. I don't agree on the term a novel virus. It's not novel. It's from the same family of coronaviruses. If you want to talk about novel, if it wasn't from that same family, then we then we could talk. But don't don't tell the public, oh, this is a novel virus. No, the fuck it ain't. What it is, maybe it's maybe kind of a mutated virus or manipulated virus. See, you st- okay. there we go. On? And he's back. <laughs> did I leave or did you? You because you, I saw you freeze up. Uh, I, I, well, then it must have been on both of us because I saw you freeze up. And <laughs> what I was saying is. I don't believe this is a novel virus. Mm-hmm. 
if it came from another virus family, then we could talk. But when you say it's a corona and there's a family of coronaviruses, how the fuck is it no novel? Let's let's think critically, people. You can't be a novel virus if it's coming from the same family. You could be a manipulated or you can be a uh, mutated. But this let's let's cut the shit. The doctors are pulling our leg. It's not novel. What makes it novel if it was from some other type of family of viruses? This is not. And 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 my thing is, you know, I I I I, I believe at first when when the first came out that 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 uh, the president was was infected, at first I didn't I didn't believe it. What did they accept it? Yeah, I, at first I didn't believe it, but the way those doctors were talking yesterday, and I'm like, well, if he's going to Walter Reed, he's got to be sicker than 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 the the public knows. Well, some people still don't believe it's true. Some people believe it's a is a is a gimmick too, because he's losing. And there's another way to gain sympathy, but I don't think he's gonna gain sympathy after 200 some thousand people have died in this country. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But I'm mean, like, I'm like, but yeah, you're at the White House, and I'm sure they have full time medical staff there. But that, then you got to go to Walter Reed. I'm like, okay, what's really going on? Yeah. Well, you know, then they try to hide it. And this, the doctor that came out today was talking all this shit about, well, that's not mm -hmm. what we see. Well, you didn't answer the question directly. Oh, yeah, he asked. was he was about as, as, as elusive as Gail Sayers used to be back in the day when he played for the Bears. Answer, you know, people, <laughs> I hate that shit. They're talking, well, that's not what I said. Then answer the question straight, then everybody mm -hmm. won't have the, the notion to think you talking shit and you ain't. I hate when people don't want to answer. It's like you see all these interviews on on um, some of these news shows and these people, you ask them something and, and I know Reverend Al gets up there and says, you didn't ask him a damn question, motherfucker. <laughs> I know that's what he wants to say, but he don't say that, but right, right. that's my question. <laughs> I ask you this spe specific question for you to answer and then you going over about this shit. That ain't what I asked your ass. That's what they need to talk to him like. But you know, you know, going on, they have these dang on GOP people are not going to answer you a straight question that's really on the nosy. They're going to try to evade, confuse, put up bullshit, and you got to bring their ass back and say, that ain't what fuck I asked you, dumbass. You either ask the question or get the fuck off my show. Mm -hmm. Really, that's what you need to talk to them as. You don't have to be dicking around with people that don't want to ask you a straight question. You you ask them straight off, do you, or this is what we're going to do. This is what I, I ain't got time for the okie doke. Either you're going to ask me a straight question or get the hell off. Because they ain't got time for it. You know. But, you know, people play these games for the dollar bill all the damn time. And they wonder why people mistrust Ain't nothing wrong getting paid. It's the way people get paid. It's the problem. Ain't nothing right. wrong getting paid. It's how y'all get paid. It's a right. problem. But I don't know. Okay, we've been on here an hour, haven't we? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It goes uh, quick. Huh? It goes, it goes quick. No shit. <laughs> Thing, everything's going quick. I mean, if you think about it, okay. The first started Thursday, right? So we're going in the first week of the full October. Mm -hmm. The next week, we're going to be halfway through October. We're, what's today, the 4th? Yeah. We're, tw we're 26 days out before daylight saving times in. Now, are they are they going to end it or are we, we going to change time again? I haven't heard. Have you heard? I hadn't heard, but I'm assuming we will fall back. I don't know. But it, this year, it falls on the 1st. So the 1st is going to be on a Sunday. 
Okay. So that's going to be real. So, hey, Sunset Sunday's probably going to start about 536 then. <laughs> between that time, that's when I'm going to take a break. I'll keep that in mind. In December, probably like maybe a couple of days before Christmas. Then I'm not going to start back until after New Year's. So I'll put that. That's, that makes sense. Yeah. You know, so yeah. everybody can relax. I want to, you know, do whatever. I'm probably going to be doing much. Of, well, that's what I did last year. I didn't, I didn't after I did stuff up until maybe a week before Christmas, mm -hmm. I, said, I shut all shit down. I, I hardly ever text. I didn't do nothing. So mm -hmm. after Christmas, I thought let let new stuff come in and whatever. Did you fresh with new ideas? Yeah, regenerate yourself. Yeah, because we've been going at this since March of last year. We yeah, we have. I you know, I'm like, man, eight months. We've been yeah. yeah. And I've been yeah, doing been, this uh, shit really since 2016. Going full bore. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm just just got to keep on keeping on and doing what I need to do. Mm -hmm. Um may start some other shit too. I don't know. I just have it. I just I sometimes I gotta go with the flow. I can't really plan. Planning there's planning too much kind of screws you up. Well, well, with this thing, I mean, they, they say, they say, uh, you plan and, and God lo, lo, looks laughing. down and, and laughs. Yeah. He, well, that's why I said, why plan? He's going to laugh. Why the hell do anything? Why plan? He's going to laugh about this shit. Fuck it. I ain't planning. Uh, and, and COVID is just one of those things like, COVID is like, you can do what you want, but here's what I'm going to do. Okay. And that's, Everybody who had plans last year, all this shit got fucked up. COVID said, hold up. Wait a minute. Hold on. Everything. Just <laughs> fuck every damn thing. Uh-huh. I was supposed to. I thought about going to Europe. Yeah. She was supposed to come over here because there was another family reunion. And then it said that, you know, the brother that died last year, it seemed like the last few years when she came over, he wasn't doing well. But as soon as she came here, he kind of, you know, pepped up a little bit. Yeah. COVID hit. She he didn't come this, she didn't come this year. He mm -hmm. just left on out. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, because he's been he's he had been ill a lot since, really, since he was coming here every summer since 2016. He had been at health issues. Okay. I mean, I don't know how long before then, but even she mentioned something about he wasn't doing what she said. I might be coming back here for a funeral. Now that he passed, she can't even come over here. Right. Of COVID. right. Because if she does, she would have to quarantine for 14 years. Yeah. Weeks. You would have to quarantine right. 14 days. Yep. yep. It wouldn't be, it would only be well, I think she said she didn't want to take the chance of trying to fly. You know, you're on a plane eight hours. Exactly. From Europe, from where she's at. Right. So she said, uh, nah. You know, I this, you know, I don't know. It's just kind of sad how and, you know they're they they're they're only having a private thing, and if you're, I think you have to have a ticket or something. It's just a whole, it's just been a whole lot of people I know even lost mother. Even a friend of hers, his husband died in April. Um, Jerry and Emmett. Emmett was, uh, they were here last year when they had the 50th high school reunion. Jerry and her husband, Emmett, Emmett who passed the last, this past April. I think his was a stroke, but it was just all of a sudden that from my understanding, she, Alice didn't say it was from COVID, but, you know, who knows? See, that mm -hmm. damn thing just causes all kinds of different things. Right. You know, people are looking for these specific symptoms. They, were, they just had something on there, a 19-year-old who died 
was supposed to be in some top tip shape. Took him out. Mm. 19 years old. Mm -hmm. And didn't have any underlining things. So the underlining theories kind of bullshit. Because if that's the case, 45 should have been really on a ventilator. Yeah. I mean, if that was the case. Mm -hmm. So we don't, you know, we don't know, we don't know what kind of strain certain people are getting because they said there were six different strains and they affect different people differently. Mm -hmm. Blood clots to heart attacks to stroke to all kinds of stuff. It's not, the, the, it's just that I think this virus causes other problems. It's an infection. It's an infection. It causes other ailments or body dysfunctions. That's what it does. Mm -hmm. And it makes you wonder, okay, this is why I don't believe that it was zoonosis mutation that caused this. I believe there was some kind of manipulation. I just do. Something tells me something... They were fucking around with something. The two things I say is either got it was a, there was an accident in one of those virology labs and escaped, or it was done on purpose. If you notice that, have you noticed there's never been a virologist, an American virologist that talked about that? They've always been the virologists either been in Europe or they've been in China. I never hear no people, no American, I don't think Dr. Fauci's title is a virologist. I mean, he talks about, study about diseases and that, but he's not. Yeah, infectious, but I, I don't think virology. That's not his title, yeah. Yeah. And see, they've been, they've been, there was an interview on Fox with this woman named Ning, somebody that they shut down. And she was a, a virologist out of China, escaped Hong Kong to the U.S. But she was a actually a virologist that studied viruses, and I think okay. specifically the coronas. Okay. See, and you don't hear any Americans who talk about that. Mm. All right, they've never mentioned any. All these other doctors are either some kind of pulmonary or. You know, something there. There no, I, I never hear nobody talk about virology or virologists in the U.S. No way. Mm -hmm. All right, people. That's um, we're going to end this tonight. So we've had I, we're going a little over because I was. Ooh, technology's been crazy. It's been gremlins. On a computer, I'm in my I'm in the dining room tonight because out on the porch, sunroom it got a little chilly, so I just brought this in oh. here. <laughs> 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 so I'll probably move it sometime up and uh, be running this thing off my uh, Mac. I don't know. So, you got any last thoughts, Kent? All right, guys, we appreciate your time jumping on with us, letting us chop it, chop it up with you all night. We hope you find this video uh, with some value. Hope you share it out. Uh, for those of you who like to, to start your own um, online home-based business, please reach out to Greg and, uh, Greg and myself. You can reach out to us on our separate platforms, either here on Facebook, Twitter, um, and we're on the gram as well, or, uh, or LinkedIn, reach out to us and we can direct you to the platform that'll help you learn the skill sets, not only to, to, uh, start your own business, but how to leverage that business. And yes, since the topics was taxes, uh, it, it can show you on, on how to wet on ways to, to, um, to report your taxes ethically legally of course so you won't get yourself into any of the strains that other folks have have found themselves into when it comes to the to the uh, uh to the R irs on your tax yeah you know what i would tell people that you need to if you're if you are in a home business i would get a home a person who specializes in home business 
taxes. They're out there. Just Google it. Don't get somebody who just just general taxes because most of them don't know shit. And they're not going to tell you because they really they just don't know, okay? Because they're not in home business. They they don't know the tax breaks for those type of things. They only know mostly for. They're only going to tell you something or you can't do because you're not this kind of business. Well, that's not the kind of. I know I'm not that kind of business. Okay, we we're talking about this type of business. So that basically says they don't know. We you need somebody specifically specializes probably in home based businesses. Okay, not not the W two, not the big wig kind of things or anything. Home based business network marketing. So that's what you need. If you now know yeah. yourself or don't want to take the time to do that, but you should understand. You if it's, it's your business, you should know something about it. Some of the things you need to be able to write. But the biggest thing are. Is keeping records of what you do. Keep a records of what you do. If the IRS decides to audit you about certain things, and you got their records approved, this is what I did, this is how I did it, whatever. You won't get caught up in like 45 and Western Snipes and shit, some other mm -hmm. thing. Right. You know, and that's, that's what basically happens to them because they didn't keep records and they, you know, they got fucked up. So, yeah. You know. And like I said, uh, you know, every time I end the uh, Sunset Sunday, this comes from Les Brown. He always talking about, you know, 30% of the heart attack rate goes up between Sunday morning, Sunday night and Monday morning. And don't let that happen to you because it ain't worth it. Ain't no damn job out here. What they got ain't worth all this stuff. And especially now that they are, most business models are changing because of this COVID and they're working from home. You don't have the kind of stress of having to get up commute to some job that you really hate and them getting on your ass because you a minute and a half late. You know, that kind of bullshit. Now you can roll over, roll over into your home office and do what you need to do. But granted, understand, you still are working for somebody else. Okay? You may be working from home. You're not, that's not a home business. Working from okay. home for somebody else and having a home business, two different things. Okay? Just get, just get that straight. Okay, with that being said, I hope you got value from what we were talking about tonight, about taxes and all that other stuff, and COVID we get into. Hey, this is the environment we're in, okay? We're talking to the market that is affecting everybody, is affecting everybody economically, socially, spiritually, all that jazz. And this is what we bring into the platform to get you to understand. That's why I ran that cash flow quadrant for you to understand. It ain't about, it's understanding where you can work at. And how to how to how to take advantage. That being said, this is Greg Smith. I'm Kent Robertson. Hope you got value from us. We'll see you next week. Peace. Take care. We're out. Stay safe, everybody. <laughs>